What do you think about the staff at the Y? Well, I find them very friendly and cooperative and responsive. I've just had a delightful discussion with the, the guard on my right hand side, but I, I do talk to quite a few members of staff and always have a very nice response. Uh, there's a lady at the front desk who, when I come in, she always knows my name, is always um, willing to help me with any problems that I have on my account, and um, I just really appreciate that she pays attention and, you know, it's very personal. Simon Strike is my personal trainer and he just motivates me to keep trying as hard as I can and he works me hard but he knows how far to push and then when to, to let that uh, ease up a bit so I really appreciate all this hard work. Well I'm in the WISE program which is for cancer survivors and all of the staff there have been a tremendous amount of help to me over the years, especially Margie and Susan. Tell me about your favorite teacher in child care. It's Kathy. Kathy. Why do you like her so much? Because and Kelsey. And Kelsey? Why are they so special? say uh, Coach Chris makes a difference for my son Miles who tends to be very shy and he's had Chris once and every time Miles comes in he always gives him a high five and that just makes my son stay. So thank you. So tell me about someone who makes a difference for you here at the Y. Donna Smith, my yoga instructor. And why does she, what does she do that helps you out? Uh, she motivates me and she has a very good sense of humor <laughs> <coughs> and she knows what she's doing. Walter, because he's like huge and he's all muscle. The well, the uh, staff members, mm -hmm. and so many of them, I just, I kind of like all of them. And why is that? Well, they kind of look out for me, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I enjoy talking to, to them. And, and you know, they just everything be nice. And then, I mean, I don't have no complaints. The only complaint I got is, I don't, you know, what makes it that don't do you? The wood. <laughs> <laughs> They're just, working on it. <laughs> Did you put that on? Well, it's I'm recording you. Uh, and all the people at the Y, I mean, the even members uh, at the Y, they're all friendly to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like my second home. Really. Okay, so tell me about someone at the Y who makes a difference for you whenever you come in. Well, um, I have loved the Y because I love, um, yeah, the joy of getting to work out and getting to put my kids in childcare. And Haley and Kelsey and Brooke have been super precious and sweet girls. Every one of the girls in childcare has been precious. and. Um, I love how they love my kids just like I do and they um, care for them and they play with them and um, my boys just really enjoy it and so yeah I'm so thankful. For hey everybody this is Lynn Hauser as you can see I'm at the YMCA with my eye dotted but I get playing basketball but I got immediate good care from Adrian of the staff and also Kevin, Kevin Thompson who I've known for a long time and uh, got he bandaged up real quick. It looks a lot worse than it is, but uh, uh, this video will prevent me from not... Uh, now I'll have to tell my wife that I got injured again at the Y, but I'll tell you what, it, it, was, it was worth it. We won the game. Are they nice? What do they do? Uh, um, I, I have to be at home in the water. And the no, the in the in child care. Oh, what what does Kelsey like to do in child care with you? Her like to play puzzle in child care with me. Oh, do you guys have fun together? The counselor for the watch came Ross, and she has been also very helpful. And one day this guy was sick and uh, when I came here with my bike and I couldn't quite take him back home and Ross you know, be very helpful, kept 
him under the tree for 30 minutes. Wow. Really out of out of her duty, in the line of duty, and she did that. So that was really. Good. I can't name the names, but I would say just people walking around helping me with the machines, fighting questions about the machines. Devin, he's one of the camp counselors. He's really fun. Why is he so fun? Because he makes you laugh and he's really funny. Well, I wanted to give a testimonial for Christy Nicola, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday spinning teacher. She started out as a fellow classmate several years ago and uh, now she's a spinning czar. <laughs> and she uh, She's constantly, even though she has three small kids, two college-age kids, she's constantly researching new routines, new music. Um, she has a fun class, and it's a hard workout, and she encourages you the whole time. Sometimes she yells at us, you know, <laughs> encouraging, nurturing way, and uh, to stay on track. Um, if your mind starts drifting about what you need at Kroger, <laughs> she reels you right back in. Everyone that I deal with in the front. Desk. They were extremely helpful. There was this lady with short hair, on um, kind of reddish hair with the glasses, on um, kind of square looking glasses, always with a big smile. Super helpful. Very helpful. For, what did she help you with? Um, I was trying to sign them up and she knows that we're only here for the summer and uh, so she said, oh, you, I will you know, give you this program that will be really be, um, cost effective and saved me quite a bit of money. Oh good. She really went out her way to do the paperwork for me. Oh I said the very thing that will make my life very I think probably Coach Mitch. Cause um he's he's fun. He's a fun guy. They always Thank make you, you feel uh, welcome. You know, every time I come in, everybody always says hi, ask you how you're doing. Every time I leave, everybody always says bye, and it's uh, really hard to find that anymore. You don't really find too many outgoing, personable people anymore. You know, when you go into any facility, be it this or Kmart, I guess, just you don't ever have time to feel welcome. So it's nice to know that there's staff here that want you to come in and make you feel welcome. They're always out to help you. I don't get a lot of help from you know, or don't ask for help, but there's always people there in case you ever do need anything. So it is a breath of fresh air to still know that there's some people that like their job and like coming to work every day still. Um, a Tracy. <gasps> Why do you like Tracy so much? Because she's nice. Oh. Um, we're talking about the Tracy left with uh, the Tracy that's with Ashton and Allie. Okay. I actually locked um, my things in the, my locker, and I couldn't get the lock to work. And uh, she helped me cut the lock off, and it was really comical. And it took us like a half hour to get it done. And she had her smile on her face the whole time, and uh, we were sweating and dripping by the end <laughs> by the end of that lock cutting. And, it, and I just appreciate her. She was just upbeat and very helpful. And I think I missed um, asking you her name. Who was that again? That, that was Stacy in housekeeping. Okay. I went thanks. to meet my cousin one week for coffee and she was attending a meeting here for the for the triathlon training. Mm -hmm. And um, I wasn't planning on joining <laughs> but um, I made the decision to do this and all of the coaches there are awesome, wonderful, mm -hmm. encouraging, um, they've been wonderful, but um, Priscilla, she's been extremely encouraging and, to me. And last night I ran four miles for the first time, so. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> so, but she fell in beside me and just kept this encouraging tone, you know, and, but all of them are awesome, wonderful, and have made me feel like I can do anything. There's more than one. There's Margie, there's uh, Susan, there's Candace, there's Jessica, there's Simon. It goes on and on. And they're all a delight in my life. I thank them all.